characters with strong opinions are an important ingredient of any story. They turn the physical and emotional conflicts like love, hate, success, failure, life, death into abstract ones. They create a war of values in the story. A cause. Something worth fighting and sometimes even dying for. And it's usually these characters' opinions that permeate into the universe of the story, causing every interaction to revolve around them. Consider these two mentors from the Pixar universe. Dean Hardscrabble and Gusteau. Monsters University may be labeled as the When Mike Met Sally story, but it's really about how the two of them dealt with Dean Hardscrabble and her views. Mike wouldn't scare a baby, as we saw in Monsters Inc., yet still believes he is born to be a scarer. Sully is a born scarer, which he thinks gives him a pass to slack off. Dean Hardscrabble is a slap in the face for both. She brings Sully down because he doesn't want to be greater than he is, and she systematically tries to crush Mike's hope of being a scarer. Not out of maliciousness, it's just what she believes in. This is the secret of any good villain. She doesn't hate Mike. She's not mean to be mean. She just had a set of values that goes against those of our protagonist. If Hardscrabble had Gusteau's attitude to life, it would make Mike's life much easier and essentially nullify Monsters University's story. She wouldn't be his polar opposite, which we've talked about in episode 1. But Remy the Rat needs someone on his side. His rat family believes that community and family are more important than passion, and the cooking community thinks only certain people can cook. Definitely not Linguini and definitely not a rat, Gusteau's encouraging point of view helps Remy push forward when everything lost and is echoed victoriously in the end, in the words of snooty critic Anton Ego, after Remy has won him over. The world is often unkind to new talent, new creations, the new needs friends. Think about the difference between Marley and Gil in Finding Nemo. Marlin is terrified for Nemo's safety and won't let him do anything on his own. However, in Nemo's first interaction with Gil, Nemo encounters a different opinion about his abilities. Marlin always used Nemo's wounded fin as weakness, as an excuse to fuss over him, but Gil refuses to give him any allowances, believing he should learn to fend for himself. This struggle between values leads to Marlin's arc of giving his son more independence and space, and Nemo's arc of learning his own worth. Opinions and values are important, because they give us conflict. They turn our characters into compelling heroes, villains, mentors, and friends. Values turn a physical conflict into a meaningful one. Values give us character arcs, which are usually what moves us the most. A lot has been said about knowing the physical world of your story, but knowing the values and ideas of this world can be just as important, if not more so. Alright guys, thanks for watching. On the next episode of Pixar Storytelling Rules, we're going to talk about character empathy. Don't forget to subscribe and visit our website at bloopanimation.com.